The purpose of this module is to enable you to understand how to use some advanced features of Word 2016. This module covers the following topics, header and footer, footnotes and endnotes, page background group. Header is an area in the top margin of the Word document. Footer is an area in the bottom margin of the document. Header and footer contain additional information about the document, such as the document name, chapter name, page number, date and time, and author or organization name. However, it is up to the user to decide what to put in the header and footer. By default, header is printed 0.49 inches from the top of the page, and footer is printed 0.49 inches from the bottom of the page. Inserting header and footer. Follow the steps given below to add a header and footer to your document. Click the Insert tab. Click Header in the Header and Footer group. You will see the header gallery with various layouts. Click the blank header layout or scroll down to choose another layout. Once the header is inserted in the document, the Design tab under Header and Footer Tools appears. Type the header text. In some layouts, you just need to fill in the information wherever marked. Now, click Go to Footer in the Navigation group of the Design tab. The footer area will appear at the bottom of the document or click footer in the header and footer group on the insert tab. Click the footer layout you want. Type the footer text or fill in the information wherever marked. Then click close header and footer on the ribbon or press escape. Adding date and time. Follow these steps to insert the current date and time in the header or footer. Double-click in the header or footer area where you want to insert the date or time. On the Design tab, under Header and Footer Tools, click Date and Time in the Insert group. The Date and Time dialog box will appear. Select a format for date and time. If you want the date to change automatically every time you open the document, select Update Automatically. Click OK. The current date or time will appear at the cursor position. Adding page numbers. The steps to add page numbers to a document in the header or footer are Double-click anywhere in the header or footer area. The Design tab under the Header and Footer tools will appear. Click Page Number in the Header and Footer group. Point to Current Position and select the desired numbering style. The page number will appear in the document at the desired position in the chosen style. Editing and Deleting Header and Footer Follow these steps to edit or delete the header or footer. Double-click on the header or footer, edit or delete the text as required. Click Close Header and Footer on the Design tab or press Escape. Footnotes and Endnotes provide explanations, comments, or references for text in a document. Footnotes appear at the bottom of the page whereas endnotes appear at the end of a document or section. A footnote or an endnote consists of two linked parts, a note reference mark and the corresponding note text. The note reference mark is placed next to the relevant text in the main document. It can be a number, a character, or a combination of characters. It indicates that additional information is to be found in the linked footnote or endnote. The footnote or endnote 
can be of any length, and you can format it just as you would format any other text. Inserting footnotes and endnotes. You can add a footnote or an endnote by following the steps given below. Position the cursor at the point in the main text where you want to insert a footnote or an endnote. Click the References tab and do one of the following. Click Insert Footnote or Insert EndNote in the Footnotes group. Click the Footnote and EndNote dialog box launcher to display the Footnote and EndNote dialog box. In the Footnote and EndNote dialog box, select Footnotes or EndNotes as required. In the Number Format box, select a format for the note reference mark. In the Start at box, type or select a value for the first note reference. You can use a symbol instead of a numerical or alphabetical note reference mark. Click Symbol to display the symbol dialog box. Select a symbol and click OK. Click Apply to close the footnote and endnote dialog box. Word inserts the reference in your document. The cursor will now move next to the footnote or endnote at the bottom of the page or at the end of the document respectively. Type the text for the footnote or endnote. Double-click the footnote or endnote number to return to the document. The page with the footnote is shown here. To make a page visually attractive, we can add watermarks, change the page color, and also apply page borders. These commands are available on the Design tab in the Page Background group. Adding Watermark A watermark is a faint text or picture on the paper. It can be seen clearly against a light source. A watermark appears behind the text on the document. The steps to add a watermark are On the Design tab in the Page Background group, click Watermark. Select Custom Watermark in the gallery that appears. The Printed Watermark dialog box appears. To insert a picture as watermark, select the Picture Watermark option. Click the Select Picture button. The Insert Picture dialog box appears. Search for the required picture, select it, and click Insert. Then, click OK in the Printed Watermark dialog box. The picture will be inserted as watermark. To insert text as watermark, in the Printed Watermark dialog box, select the Text Watermark option. Type the text in the box against text and click OK. Changing Page Color To change the color of the page, click the Page Color option in the Page Background group and select the desired color. Applying Page Borders Click Page Borders in the Page Background group. This will open the Borders and Shading dialog box with the Page Border tab selected. You can choose a border for the entire page. Click OK. Now, let us do an activity. To do this activity, you need to insert header to your document. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this activity.